Hello. That's weak. Hello. Thank you. Greetings to the John Hopkins University. I give thanks to President Daniels, the Board of Trustees, the faculty administration, especially graduate class of 2016. And again, we must acknowledge the people made this all possible, the parents. As the great philosopher and poet, Mr. P.R. Nelson once said, dearly beloved, we got here today to get to this thing called life. <laughs> but on this occasion, it's the graduation of the class in the year of our Lord, 20, 20, 2016, John Hopkins University. I've been blessed to do what I want, what I love. I love what I do, and what I do is I make films. I'm a filmmaker, I'm a storyteller. And there are two words that are almost in all of my 23 feature films to date. These two words are wake up. Wake up from the sleep, wake up from being comatose, Wake up from the slumber that keeps your eyes shut, all inequalities and injustices to this often more than not evil, crazy, and insane world we live in. Let's move our unconscious minds from the back to the front to a conscious state and wake up. Let's leave our lofty ivory towers of institutions and get down to the people. As the sisters and the brothers say in the block, get woke. Let's be alert, be open-minded, get woke. Let's wake up. Like the knuckle rings worn by the late Ray Rahim, let's truly, let's truly know the difference between love and hate. As Malcolm X said, We've been took, hoodwinked, led astray, run amok, and bamboozled. People, we're, we had a very crucial moment in history of these United States of America. And the way I'm looking at it today, to tell you the truth, things are looking dicey. It can go either way. I don't know about you, but I'm worried. I'm worried for the graduating class here at John Hopkins University. They told me about the S. <laughs> Didn't know, but I, I got educated. In addition to the graduating classes all over this God's planet, I wish you'd be graduating into a world of peace, light, and love. But that's not the case. We don't live in a fairy tale, but I guess the 1% does. After you live here today, it's gonna be real life. And real life is no joke. It's real out here for other 99% for sure. Now it's up to you, this new generation, to make it fairer, a just world. It's up to the graduation classes of 2016 to make a better world for the 99% who are daily being hornswoggled, hoodwinked, duped, buked and scorned, double-crossed, not uh, incarcerated, profiled, starved, miseducated, used and abused, and even shot down on our streets. Graduates, please leave here on the straight and narrow and please don't go the way of straight up skullduggery. I got that word from Mike Tyson, one of my favorite words, skullduggery. The United States of America is a very diverse nation. This is one of the many things that makes us great despite the legacy of the genocide of its native people and slavery. The United States Census Bureau and not Spike Lee 
He says, five years from now, white children will be in a minority. And by 2049, white folks will be wholly outnumbered by non-whites. This is happening, people, here and now. I feel it's time to start embrace it, not fight it. No matter how one might wish it to be otherwise, we are not making America great again by going back to Eisenhower, Jim Crow, firehouses, German shepherds, Eisenhower, and leave it to Beaver. <laughs> not having it. Now's the time to seize the day, take the advantage of this unique moment in history, and build bridges amongst us. We're talking about gender, race, religion, and nations, not walls. Let us build bridges of love versus walls of hate. All right. Sidebar number one. Standing here, I'm amongst some of the greatest minds in the world here at John Hopkins University. People who are a lot smarter than me. So I ask, can somebody please educate me, me, somebody from the public school education in the Republic of Brooklyn, New York? Can somebody please explain to me how you can tell Mexico to build a 25-foot wall on the borders on top of that and have the audacity, to, and the audacity to tell them, Mexico, you foot the bill too. WTF. <laughs> Sidebar, dose. Tanya, my, my lovely wife who's here, and I gave a fundraiser at our home for President Barack Hussein Obama during his first term in office. I don't know about you, but I'm going to miss him. And he will be on the right side of history. But anywho, I heard of this football. This is a device. It looks like a briefcase that went triggered would activate it can trigger a nuclear attack. I thought it was a myth. It's always close to the president. It was in our home, but in the vehicle parked outside. And I stand before you to testify it's not a myth. This football is for real. And I was scared just catching a glimpse of it. Fast forward today, now I have recurring nightmares. I toss and turn because of my nightmare. Donald Trump has become the 45th president of the United States of America, and he has a nuclear code to the football. He gets mad at somebody, and we're all going to go, boom. <laughs> Two more booms, boom, boom. Dear God, save us. But we got to get woke. Got to wake up. To bring it to a close here, I'd like to go back once again to my friend, the philosopher, the poet, and the great humanitarian, Mr. P.R. Nelson. You might know him also as the artist Prince. Can we give some love to Prince, please? <laughs> Prince is a true great American. And he wrote a song entitled Baltimore. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing it. But here it is. Baltimore. Nobody got nobody's way. So I guess you could say it was a good day. At least a little bit better than the day in Baltimore. 
Does anybody hear us pray for Mike Brown or Freddie Gray? Peace is more than the absence of war. Absence of war. Are we going to see another bloody day? We're tired of the crying and people are dying. Let us all take the guns away. Absence of war, you and me may finally, we say, enough is enough. It's time for love. It's time to hear, it's time to hear the guitar play. Guitar play, Baltimore evermore. If there ain't no justice, there ain't no peace. If there ain't no justice, there ain't no peace. If there ain't no justice, there ain't no peace. And if there ain't no justice, there ain't no peace. Baltimore, are we going to see another bloody day? We're tired of crying and people are dying. Let's take all the guns away. If there ain't no justice, there ain't going to be no peace. Baltimore, if there ain't no justice, there ain't going to be no peace. Thank you. Go with God. Black Lives Matter.